Yeah, so one of these concepts that I think we should interrogate a little bit is that of sustainability. And it's not that sustainability is bad, but I think that insisting on sustainability, making it a prerequisite of support for a particular program or policy can really distract us from what matters or what should matter. And in some ways, I think that overprivileging sustainability in assessing the effectiveness or cost effectiveness or the extent to which we should prioritize a particular intervention can in some ways be almost like the moral equivalent of, you know, to draw on Peter Singer's famous analogy of saying, well, a lot of kids drown in this pond. And since we don't have a plan to save them indefinitely into the future, we shouldn't save this one now. And similarly, you know, if I told you that for some reason we were going to have to, say, stop manufacturing a particular vaccine in five years, would we just stop giving that vaccine now? If that vaccine is truly effective and cost effective, well, then we should grab all of the impact that we can while we can. A lot of the problems that we seek to solve are going to require long-term sustained investment. And so if a donor doesn't want or is not able to provide that support for a long period of time, that's fine. But then I think really the conversation we should have is how are we going to shift the coverage of this to some other donor or some other source of funds and not like how are we going to put in a little money and then it's going to kind of create an engine that's going to then fund itself.